I'm going to talk to you about weight. The number we all at some point do get caught up in. That one marker that tells us how much gravity is having an impact on us. The marker that we know up here, what we weigh, but a lot of people around us don't, unless you tell them. I was speaking to a client yesterday regarding her weight had dropped a lot and she'd still been following plan and she'd put on a little bit of weight again. Okay, this time it turned out that it's come round to her period and <clears throat> no matter whether you like it or not, ladies, weight can fluctuate when you're on your period. Down to hormones, down to water retention and all this sort of thing, I'm not going to get into the science of it because this is not what that video is about. I can talk to you about that in a future video, but this is just talking specifically about weight. Imagine this, you've got two high performance cars, two Ferraris, exactly the same year, exactly the same model. One of them has its levels low, oil, water is low, gas is low. The other one is topped up full with fuel. Water is at the right levels, it's oil is all at the right levels. These are performance vehicles. When we look at how they will perform, how far they're going to go, how effective and efficient they're going to be, okay, efficient might not be the best word with a Ferrari, but how effective they're gonna be from getting from A to B, which one is going to go further? The one that has its levels topped up. The one that has the fuel. Which one is going to really suck at getting a long distance? It's going to suck when it comes to performance. The one that has no fuel in it. No water, no oil. It's going to get pretty low on its health if we try and run it on empty all the time. But so many people try to do this with their health. They will run on empty just because that is when that number on the scale is the lowest. Those two cars, the car with its levels topped up, the car with its levels really low, they both, they both take up exactly the same volume. However, the one that is going to perform better, the one that is going to be more effective, the one that is going to go further is the one which weighs more. See where I'm getting at with this number on the scales? Yes, you could drop three, four, five kilos pretty much instantly. Yes, I have had pro MMA fighters drop 20 kilos in five, six weeks for a specific reason. Was it healthy? No. Do I like doing it that way? No. This was for a specific reason to make weight in a fight weight category. For health, it is not the way to go, in my honest opinion. This person yesterday went to tell me that she had put on weight. Then she had dropped the dress size. She felt better, she was sleeping better, more energy, more focus, less brain fog. She got more done. But this number on the scale this number that no one else knows about unless you tell them was letting her dictate how successful her health journey was being until we had this conversation. And then we looked at that bigger picture and she had dropped about 10, I think it was 12 pounds in the last three months without feeling like she's been on a diet. Now tell me this. Do you want just to get that number down and feel crap? Or would you rather thrive, have loads of vitality, loads of energy, loads of focus, loads of performance within your business, within your life, within your relationships, have better sex, have better everything, and not have that number go down quite so quickly? Or just like feel crap with that number going down quicker? I know what my answer would be, however, I know personally in the past I have been a victim of weighing myself every single day and judging myself when that number didn't go down 
when I had followed my plan 110% and that number had gone up 0.2 of a pound, I would feel crap. So if you're one of these people that do feel pretty bad when that happens, guess what? It's okay. It is 100% okay. However, with a little bit of understanding of what is going on in your body and what feeling good actually feels like, maybe we can get through that together. If you want to chat and talk about this privately, drop me a message and we can hop on a call. Thank you for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon.